All right, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhachodash, the devil honor to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the great millstone who teach, guide, and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, much love unto you, hopeful elect out there, showing your diligence and your faith by your works in these last evil and dark days, <clears throat> in, in, in hope that Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will, will deliver you in these last days. Shalom unto you. Your brush is quiet here. Um, Real quick video, man. You know, I just have to make the point. I see brothers on the chats um, going through the situation, pages getting deleted, still taking videos down, and yeah, they is back is back to it. Okay, it was a small season where, you know, they they wasn't sweating it, but now they back on it. You know, they they back on it. Okay, they trying to take these videos down. They 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 trying to get rid of the truth. Okay, and, and what I'm noticing as I bring them up is uh, the C hip videos. They're they're really like over. It ain't even been a full week, but just over the past week, they've been hitting me just about every day. As I'll show you on the left here. Let me read this first. Amos eight, verse eleven. It says, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land." Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Now, there will also be a famine of bread and water as well. Okay, let's not let's not mistaken this. There will be a famine of bread and water as well. But also of hearing the words of the Lord. They're going to do Bible bans. They're going to take these books away. Okay, we, we ain't going to be able to be out on the streets. We're going to be... Um, uh, uh, demonized, if you will, will, will um, uh, uh, defamed. Okay, all of these things are going to be said bad about us, as it's been before. Okay, and they're gonna and and it's gonna get rough. Okay, no different than than, than the apostles had to kind of hide out and move around and you know and, and, and duck people because they were looking out, they were looking for us, man. No different than the time of the Romans. When our own people was doing it, do you think our own people ain't going to turn on us now? As well as the governments and the other other people. All right? Because of the things that we have said. Because we're calling the BS through the Holy Spirit. And we're showing you through through the most believed in book in on the planet. The Bible. The Holy Bible. And with the with the Holy Spirit on this Bible, uh, on us to, to, to break down this Bible... You're watching the prophecies come true. And we're, we're just calling the play. All right? And a lot of people are, 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 are messed up in the head because of it, man. Rightfully so. And rightfully so because, hey, the things that we're bringing out in this Bible, you know, uh, such as something like this, the things that, hey, the C-HIP is the MOTB. All right? If you know the code. Um, the VAX. It is you know it's bad for you don't take it okay the see hip don't take it okay this they they not the real people that's over there in the land look they committing ethnic cleansing over there okay they got robots and they gonna turn on the people like all of these things were they gonna starve you they gonna inflation hyperinflation we're calling it as it's happening we, we but we actually called it we've been calling it before it happened okay and it's an issue Okay, so as they were just for for the past, I mean, in the past three years, they were just, I mean, they've been taking videos down, but they I mean they were just trying to take, I mean, brothers in the last three years, man, brothers then went through pages, man. I've been lucky to to kind of hold on to my page, but I've been trying to be salty, you know, from the jump. And there's some topics I just wouldn't 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 touch on as a as a as a as a main topic, but maybe a subtopic within the lesson. You know, so it wouldn't get the same attention. But hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but now they're not even striking the page no more. I'm sure it's, it's coming. They're just taking stuff down. And it's not about getting rid of the page anymore. It's more so about taking information and getting it off. Okay, and getting it off the internet so they can't catch it. So, so, so you Jakes can't wake up. You so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans can't wake up. Trying to offset the prophecy, okay? And I mean, I just, just, you know, I, I threw a lot of quotes out there. Second Edris talks about a famine. 
um, the 15th and 16th chapter talks about it. The um, sea hip is mentioned in Revelation, the 13th chapter. It even uh, mentions the time period of it, of it going down in, uh, in second address as well. Um, what else? Uh, cannibalism is in the Bible. I mean, there's different places where people did that before. We know that that which have been shall be. Uh, that which have, have been shall be again, and that which have already been, uh, that which have been have already been of old. Okay, meaning there's no new thing under the sun. That's in Ecclesiastes. Okay, in these different topics. Okay, the scriptures talk about pestilence in Second Edge of the ninth chapter, and Revelation. I mean uh, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. I mean, and even um, Luke the eleventh chapter. There's there's different places where. Where this book is taught about these situations going down. And the ones that I'm particularly naming are the ones for the future. Okay, another siege is going to come down. They're going to sack the temple again. But instead of sacking a physical building like the, the first two times, this third temple, they're going to come in like a flood against us. Okay, World War Three. We're prophesying that, that America loses World War Three. Thus said the Bible in the book of Revelation. Okay. And in the book of Isaiah, there's different places in this thing. Okay? So anyway, I digress. Just going to hit a few of those. But just showing you that the things that we're saying throughout this Bible, we're showing you that there hasn't been a church that's been giving this to you, showing you the, the uh, current events as well as the, um, uh, the, the Bible prophecy. Okay? But look at this, though. Look. In a week, matter of fact, starting on the 6th, they just, I don't know who they assigned to my page, but look, video, the 6th, the 8th, two of them, are, oh, that's something else on the 8th, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, the, the 11th, and then yesterday, okay, this morning, now let's see what types of videos they're getting, I was going to say, misinformation, that was a camp, and 53 minutes in, Okay, and they and I mean I got more. And look, I just saw a video. Um, on uh, another page talking about how um. Hey, hold on. Shoot, actually, it was two of them on the sixth. As I go back into it, misinformation. Praise ye the Lord. This one, taken down. Okay, just taking all the videos down. Okay, and the video I was watching that was on uh, America's Best Memes and Picks or whatever it's called, videos and picks or whatever it's called, um, on that site, um, showing you how um, there was like a, a meeting, an official meeting, talking about are you a doctor? You know, I think for 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 Twitter or whatever. So what gives you the right to to censor information to take it down? Well, it's misinformation if it's not true. Like, are you a doctor to know if it's true or not? Well, well, is anyone else on their staff a doctor to know if it's true or not? Well, well, no. And how do you know not to take, how do you know what to take down and what's true? So you censored medical doctors from Stanford and Harvard and all these medical places that are PhDs in these different things, and you censored their words and kept, and we're trying to save lives and protect people. How are you protecting people when you taking down the information they need against a, 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 a pandemic? All right, which lets us clearly see what their real, the agenda really was. And, and, and if you can't see what they did, uh, what they established in that time period, then then why are you watching these truth videos, man? All right, what they did was it was a money grab. They got they got everybody uh, on board to um to uh, uh what's the word I'm looking for to uh to put these these, these masks on. And to the herd mentality, they built it up. The herd mentality to see uh, people were ready. They divided the country also. Like they did so many things. They they squeezed out the little guy, the the, 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 the small businesses, you know, and corporations flourished. Putting all the money in one place. They 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 gave the okay to 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 GMO foods. Okay, all kinds of stuff, man. All right. So this one was on the 6th. Look, another one on the 5th. Probably the same information. Another camp from 2021. 
All right. October 29th. Look, we already told you about the MOTB. Got you. Okay, an example at two minutes. Stop it, man. The 20th of October. And, I'm, and I didn't even get the ones closer to, to this week, but, I mean, they hit me like five times in, 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 in four or five, like six days, man. All right. Another camp from 2019. Uh, what was that, four? Four years ago? Seriously? You want to make it a safe place. We're talking about now. Now look for something that was before the pandemic, that get me for the pandemic. Unbelievable. Two of them on the twentieth. And let's let's be clear about this. I haven't used this page in years. This is my other page. I I don't even use this page. They're still hitting it. Okay, they still hitting it. I don't even upload camp or nothing. I ain't, I stopped uploading video on this page years ago. When I got a couple strikes years ago. Okay. Years ago. This is from May 2020. September 2020. Okay. And this was on the uh, October the 12th. You see how they're doing it. And what they're actually doing is they're just taking these videos down. So, so, so you can't eat the food that was in these videos. Okay, whether they're my personal videos or they're our camp videos, you can't eat the the um the food that was in these videos. All right, I was like, man, I thought I put up more videos than this on that page. Yeah, man, they taking them away. Sometimes you go on your page like, dang, I know I did more videos this week. I did how many? I, I did four. I did five. You start thinking about what you did, but you only got three of them up. What happened? They gone. You didn't take your video down. Okay. Here's the one from this morning they took down. The chip is everywhere from, what year was this video? I don't have a date on this one. That, that, this video. But the name of that video was The Chip is Everywhere. And it, that's the next prophecy they don't want to to, to go out. Okay. Warren P. They don't want... You know they're going to have to censor these and take these videos down. They don't want people trying to figure out what this thing is, this implant, man, the karagma. All right? Two days ago, camp from 2020, June 2020. Seriously? This is the one from the 8th, which was five days ago. The comment board exposure from the brother Malcolm. I, I, I re-uploaded his video. His video may still be up. I don't know. I posted his video on my page and boom. You know, this was, I, I did that before they were, they had the post option. You can post somebody else's video and just a link to it. You know? All right, the point's been made. All right, point's been made. So let's go read it again. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. But of hearing the word to the Lord, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst. And it's not talking about just because they don't have water. They're for, for for knowledge, wisdom, and wit and understanding. All that's gonna be gone. Okay? Second there's the fifth chapter has some of that. There's this, uh, this situation in it as well, in the Apocrypha, okay? And they're going to defame us, and they're going to paint the narrative, and they're going to uh, deep fake, and they're going to use all them tactics, man, all they witchcraft on us to make it seem like, like, we, like we the bad guys. You see what they're doing over there in the Middle East now? These are the most inhumane people on, on the planet, okay? But they about to equate us to them people, Okay? To, to, to homegrown terrorists and homeborn terrorists and all this, just watch. Okay? No different than they did in previous times. So this information will not be available. Now's the time to seek the Lord. I'll get one more. Right here, Ecclesiastes 12 and, uh, and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Okay, before it gets before it gets too too heavy out there. 
Okay, before it get too deep. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Okay, another quote. All right, and I'll get one more. Another one of my favorites, Romans 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, seeing all these prophecies and all these dangerous and perils coming to pass. Okay, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. Now is that time. This stuff ain't randomly happening for nothing. They're talking about a volcano going off up there in Iceland, all 1,400 earthquakes or 1,000 or whatever it was, whole bunch of earthquakes in one landmass. They think it's a precursor for a, a, a volcano, volcanic eruption. All of this is lining up for when your house shot returns, man. Okay, all of this is just signifying a special moment in the earth when, 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 when the, the son of the creator comes to the earth. Okay, to say it that way. All right, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. And the night's over, man. The day is at hand. Shit's happening. Okay? People out here struggling. People out here killing. And, and these, these camera phones and whatnot are catching it, man. It's going down out there. Okay? Um, in, that inflation is hitting hard, man. I, you know, you work in retail. Like, I work in retail right now, man. People are just stealing, man. And you were like, damn, is it, is it that bad out there? In the movie, um, The Toy, <laughs> Richard Pryor, you know, for you that have seen the movie, Richard Pryor and, ja and uh, Jackie Gleason, but there's a, a part where the guy says, uh, they asked each other, wow, is it that bad out there? Because of the job that, that um, Richard Pryor took a job as a housemaid, and he said, cut the mustache, cut your beard and your mustache, and um and wear and put on a dress. And he was like, I ain't, like he was like, I ain't doing it. But he did it. But he didn't cut his mustache. He's like, I thought I told you to to shave, right? And then another time, later in the movie, that's when the guy said, "Man, is it that bad out there?" And the guy was like, "Worse." And Richard Pryor was like, "Worse." So later in the movie, the roles were reversed. He, Jackie Gleason character told the guy, "Pull your pants down." He was like, uh, I got to, if you want to keep your job. He pulled his pants down. And, it, and this is what's going on with these corporations now. These these businesses that got money, man, this is what they're, this is what they're willing to do in these times. Man, it's, it's that bad out there. You can't afford to, to everybody, the way the food and gas and electricity and all of this costs, you can't afford to not have a job. You can't afford to, your savings is probably already gone. So you got to, you really got to, you know, buckle down and, and tighten up. You, you you can't get your favorite brands. You got to go try to get the generic brands or just do it out. All these situations happening, man. Okay. It says, um, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of light. And I'm going to expound just a quick second before I close out on let us cast off the works of darkness, right? All these holidays, man. You Jake's out there. You don't realize the money that, that you worried about the kids being happy. Yeah, keep keep going out there and buying slaving and barely seeing your kids. And your kids are being watched by other people that, that you really can't trust because you and your wife got to work just so you can buy Christmas gifts and have the big family gathering for, for Thanksgiving. you commemorating all these wicked pagan holidays, you know, and, and, and it's not going to benefit you in the end, man. You're doing nothing but... But turning your back and worshiping an idol, turning your back on the, on the, on the, on the heavenly Father and worshiping an idol, okay? When just not participating in these events, Valentine's and birthdays and, and like I said, Christmas and New Year's parties, how you gonna have a New Year in the middle of the year? And Halloween and and Thanksgiving, all of these situations, you 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 going all out and big feast dinners and all of this. When, he, when you really ain't got it like that. Quit acting like you got it like that, man. Everybody's struggling. Okay? And if you did have it like that at the time, you ain't got it like that now. You, you're thinking about what, how, far, how far your dollar's going. Go to the grocery store and pick up 10 items, you know, and, and it's going to cost you $45, man, for 10 items. Easy, $30 for 10 items that would have cost you $17 or something before. 
Okay? So the night is far spent, man. You cast off them works of darkness. That's a little extra change. Uh, stop stop uh, getting deep into these drugs or whatever the hell you jakes is on, man. All, the, all these uh, uh, bad habits. Okay? Over drinking. I'm saying don't drink, but over drinking. Smoking, uh, cigarette habits and all that, man. Cut all, cut all that down to the best of your ability, man. Okay? Stop stop opening, keeping a gateway for these demons to stay on you. Getting caught up in the world. And I got to, I got to. I gotta go get a bigger TV to watch the Super Bowl, and I gotta go. I gotta go get the jersey and the hat because I gotta represent. Man, fuck these teams, man. This all been exposed now anyway. This is the end. The night is far spent. And 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 when you gonna need when these situations really hit hard and shit hits the fan, you gonna wanna reach into into some wisdom, and it ain't gonna be there. Or what about them one guys? You gonna try to search the internet, ain't gonna find it. You gonna ask your cousin. You gonna ask a teacher. You gonna a policeman. You gonna ask anybody you can to try to get answers, and you're not gonna get no answers. Okay. So then finally, but like, what about them Hebrew Israelites? Let's see if they. And when you ain't get an answer, it's just gonna piss you off, and you are gonna turn on us because you caught in the trap and you didn't protect yourself away from it when you had the chance, when the doors of mercy were still open, and that's the time we're in now. Okay. But as I just showed, they're cutting the information off the internet. And a lot of edification over the past few years have been cut off this internet. Good thing the apostle at the spirit on is keep upload, upload, upload every day, every three a week, five a week, whatever. Upload, upload, upload. Do the work. Put, put videos out, do shows, go to camp every week. Got us out there being diligent so there won't be no excuse for you not having this information. When they finally get rid of it, that you didn't, you can't be like, well, I didn't know, I didn't see no videos. You've seen us. You've seen Great Millstone. Let's not act like you ain't seen us, man. Okay? Say what you want about Great Millstone. We put videos out. Okay? No, we're not world friendly. We give you the skinny on, on, on the scriptures. Okay? Because we understand that how serious this situation is. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll close with this one. All right? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh, excuse me, by Hashem Yahushai, of Yahweh Shai, right? Luckily, it's, it's Yahweh Shai and not Yahweh. <laughs> and he's going to uh, make intercession for, for his elect, right? Anyway, it says, That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. So the things that you are doing, if you up there worshiping idols, you just got demons all up, just a conduit for demons. You persecuting the prophets, misusing the prophets. You scoffing, okay? Just just being a just a a, a badass person, man. Okay, just not being the, the the right kind of person. Okay, going into this this day. Now I'm not saying be nice. I didn't say that, but just not being a straightforward person with people, man. Okay. All right. Anyway, it says knowing and, and, and more so forget the people being right with the Lord, man. Following, uh, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your, your ability, exhibiting your faith by your by your actions and your works. Okay. It says there, uh, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. What terror are we talking about? The scripture, the scriptural terror. Okay. Terror that the scriptures talk about fire and brimstone. Okay, uh, famines and pestilences, uproars of the people. Okay, whether it's in Matthews, whether it's in uh, Second Edris, different places, man. The Book of Revelation. Okay, this devil is gonna come down with great wrath on us, man. On, on on all you Jakes, on all us Jakes, shall I say? Okay, if you don't have the the, if you're not in the in, in the secret place. Of your how about Shemuel Shah? If you if you don't know that name ingrained in you and 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 and, and been had the works to 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 prove your faith, if you don't have that man in that time, you as, you up the creek, man. And there'd be many more of them that's gonna get jacked up than them that are saved. Thus said Second Entrance, the ninth chapter. All right. So I'm gonna close it there, man. It says, uh, therefore knowing, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You should, be, you should be persuaded by seeing all the, the, the detrimental stuff that's going on in the earth. 
But we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. That you, if you have a good conscience, man, you should be okay. Because you know you've been doing the right thing. You don't have to worry like that. But if you ain't been doing the right thing, yeah, man, it's, it's, you, you pretty much have condemned yourself that you know that uh, it's coming to get you. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, this was edifying. I mean, they chopping these videos down, man. Get them. Get them, you know, get it in you. Miss not the discourse of the elders, man. Try to get the best you can. Tune into a page or two or five or as many as you can get when you're free time. Okay? So uh, I'm going to close there. Giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rakakodash. Double honor to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the great millstone. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you. Hope for elect until the next one. Shalom.